Hey guys, um, today I'm going to be um, showing you my uh, football card collection. So to start off, we have Gary Anderson, kicker for the Steelers, the back, nothing special. Nice holographic sticker though. Um, next we have Jeff Garcia, quarterback for the uh, 49ers. It's a stadium club. Back, nothing special. There's a little holographic thing. I don't know. What does that say? Oh, that's his. Oh, what's it called? Little information slot. Next, we have another. We have a cool holographic card. Charles Johnson. He's Steelers wide receiver. And on the back, more holographic stuff. Next. We have Norm Johnson. He's a kicker for the Seahawks. Or was a kicker. Back, nothing special. Little stat card. Next, we have Greg Lloyd, a linebacker for the um, Steelers. And then on the back, nothing special. Next, we have Marvkis Patton, inside linebacker for the Redskins. A little holographic symbol up top and down bottom. On the back, him is a Redskin little thing down there. Kids holding up his stats. Um, Ray Horton, safety for the Cowboys. Old, old, nice tops card. I like these, like, cardboard-feeling ones. They're just nice to just, you know, just feel around. Um, got a nice holographic card here. Scott Mitchell. And on the back, nothing special. Just sideways. Um, in a later video, I will have all of these put in a binder that's coming, I think, maybe... Four days from now. Uh, next, we have Dr a leaf draft Justin Justice Hill uh, from 2019. Nice new card. Next, we have Marlon Brown. He is f a wide receiver f for the Ravens. I like these kind of tops cards. Have these like cool designs on the back. Um, a lot of Jets players. I found out recently that I had my collection. We're going through my whole collection, so it's probably going to be a little bit, bit before the video ends. Um, if you're not interested in this, you can click off. I don't really care. I don't do YouTube for the money because I'm only like 10 years old. I only do it just because it's something to do to show off my collection. Anyway, um, so this is a running back for the Jets. Uh, is Brad Baxter. Next, we have Icky Woods. He's a running back for the Bengals, or was a running back. I don't know why I keep saying is. He's got that nice, like, matte, cardboard finish type of feel. Uh, where'd he go? UNLV, whatever that is. Um, next, we have a draft, Alex Barnes. Uh, this is from 2019, too. So. I think I have a Kyler Murray. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure if that makes sense. Um, anyway, uh, Alfred Morris, he's a running back for the Redskins. He's a scorecard. I like these scorecards. Tops and score are probably the best at making cards. Next, we have the player. No, it's not a player. Uh, Philadelphia Eagles NFC like team card. Nice holographic. My favorite team in the NFL. I'm like getting a paper cut. Did I get a paper cut? No, I thought I got a paper cut. Yeah, but my favorite team in the NFL, Philadelphia. On the back is the stats from 2013. My boy Nick Foles, Deshaun McCoy, and Deshaun Jackson. And, and then we have William Fuller, a defensive end for the Houston Oilers. On the back, nothing special, nice holographic. Sticker though. Now here's two cards that I've just got. They're pretty nice. 
We have Prism Dustin Keller. He's a nice holographic. But his backside isn't that cool, I guess. <laughs> no pun intended. Um, and then my favorite card in my probably my whole collection is an elite rookie Julio Jones from Alabama. One of my favorite cards of all time. Because he's one of my favorite players of all time. Um, and then the backside's not that cool. Next, we have, um, Mark Bruno. He is a, this card the bat. Quarterback for Jacksonville, Bowman's best. Nice holographic. Now I'm on the back, nothing special. A little matte finish. Not matte, but like shiny, glossy finish. Next, we have best performers, Bowman's best. Drew Bledsoe and Brad Johnson, team up card. It's a nice card. Um, this guy, I'm pretty sure Joe, Joe, uh, Drew Bledsoe was replaced by Tom Brady. Don't know uh, Brad Johnson is though. Never heard of him. Um, next we have Mike Ken. He's a tackle. He was a tackle for the Falcons. Most of these cards aren't that special or valuable, except for most of the drafts. Nothing special except for that nice holographic sticker. Um, next we have Anton Exum. He's a cornerback, corner, not quarter, cornerback. For the, um, what's it called? Vikings. This is from 2014. Tops. Once again, the, the design that I like. Um, Alright. As you can see, I just have a pile here. I don't have them stacked up. So. Next, we have running back. The Lions is Michael LaShore. Nothing special about him. On the back, just a, one of those boring designs. This is one of my favorite cards because when I got it, it came with like a kind of like sticker that like preserves it, I guess, or whatever. It is the finest destroyers, Sean Gale. Most of these I looked up on eBay to see the price. Not like most, most of them aren't expensive except for the draft cards. Uh, next we have uh. Reed, Riedel Anthony, Buccaneers wide receiver. Nice holographic designs. Back is really, really... This is probably the most boring back I've ever seen. The card. Uh, yeah, by the way, I have Madden up there because I just recorded a Madden video. Um, I got Boomer Ession. Es Ession? I, I can't pronounce that last name. That right there. Um... Quarterback for Bengals, 1990 Pro Bowl. Uh, one of these cards I like. Kadeem Carey, uh, running back for the Bears. Nice design that I like. And then next, we have Ron Rivera, linebacker for the Bears. Nothing special. On the front or back, except for that nice holographic sticker. Um, Andre Johnson. He is... Hmm. What is he? Wide receiver. Number 80. For the Texans. On the back. Is his stats. Nothing special at all about that. Uh, league leaders. Tim Kyer, cornerback. Nice player. Okay, no, I found the most boring back of all time. Just a fucking paragraph. <laughs> Excuse my language. Uh, score, Gridiron Heritage, Len Dawson. Da Dawson. Nice holographic um, design. On the back is kind of cool. It's kind of boring, but kind of cool at the same time because it's got that old look to it. Um, this card is Steve, uh, Steve Walsh, quarterback for the Cowboys. Uh, scouting photo, pro set prospect, number one pick. So they, I don't know if he went number one pick, if anyone in the comments can tell me, but, um, Steve Walsh, number one prospect pick, yeah.
Um, those games back there, uh, I can point to them. These, right there. I will be doing a collection video of those later. I'm just going to do a collection video of my entire freaking basement. But anyway, Reggie Brooks running back for the, um, what's this called? Redskins. So, yeah. And this is right before the Redskins changed their name. I don't care what anybody says. I'm keep. I'm just gonna keep calling them the Redskins. I don't. That's the dumbest thing that they had to change the name because of what's been going on. But anyway, um, uh, kicker for Green Bay, Mason Crosby, scorecard. Yeah. And okay, let me grab grab some cards. We have our first double. Um, okay, Quan score rookie card Quan Alexander for Tampa Bay scorecard of those. Um, rookie Rodney Thomas, nice holographic finish. Oh, that Quan Alexander, I ain't sure the back, boring as hell. Anyway, the back of this card is kind of cool. It's like a football field. Yeah, it's a football design. You're speaking of football design. I know I have one. I have like football design around it. Uh, Simeon Rice, Leaf card. Um, this card's kind of boring, I'm not gonna lie. It's just like some holographic details, and on the back it's just that. So, yeah. Uh, Vi Sikahama, running back for Cardinals, two times in a row. Another Cardinal, uh, three Car Cardinals players in a row. Uh, Tootie Robbins, tackle for the Cardinals. Um, okay. Let me find some more. Oh, this one's all, like, wrinkled. I hope it doesn't go for a lot. Carl Pickens, nice holographic card. Um, kind of cool, like, stats on the back. Um... Select 2016 Vaughn Miller. This one looks like it would be worth a lot. I highly doubt it, though. Nice oh, a rainbow holographic, though. Still really, really cool. Um, Next, oh, this is one of my favorites. Antonio Freeman. Like, uh, see-through card. It looks so cool. And on the back... I have his stats and another see-through. That's one of my favorite cards in my collection. And it feels really nice. Next, we have 2019 draft uh, Drew Locke. This card goes for a lot. Not a lot, but like pretty penny. It's third, we've been recording for 13 minutes. God. Uh, yeah, 2017 NCAA leader in touchdown passes with 44. Damn. Next, we have Lamar Thomas, or you said Jackson there, but the yeah, old card. Born, like, front, but the back is just jam-packed full of stuff. Next, we have Shane Curry, defensive end for the Colts. Front looks okay. Back is really, really boring, except for that nice holographic sticker. I've said that, like, 40 times this episode. Here's the the football one I was talking about. If you're not, if you're wondering, those are actual like bumps, and it's actually got like all this stuff. It's so cool. I love this card. Fred Taylor, running back for the Jaguars. This just whole card is just the coolest thing ever. I have another cool cards. I need to show you guys if I can find it. I don't know if it's down here or not. It, but it's an autograph. I'm pretty sure it's an autograph, but kind of boring back to it. Oh, uh, let me get some more cards. Why did you pull this one back? Because why not pull it on the cards? Uh, 
Next, this is one of the most expensive cards in my collection. Uh, it's the Black and Pirate Ring. Very expensive card in my collection. You can see like, the Black All American Red Sticker. Here's one of my favorite cards. Black Nineteen. Things This is a really uncommon. I have another one upstairs. I have a brother in my room. So, yeah. If you're wondering, you know, you have another one that's a good like this. These go to the box. Or these repackaged box boxes. I will do a video on them. They're on the this is the Montreal Green card. I have no clue what this is. It's a very new one. This one is Thomas. I think it's on the. Oh. No, this is a black card. It's nice. Okay. So, it's not just a simple green card. The ratings of both things are like this. We have the Jack, the Steelers, and the Seahawks. I'm just, I'm really, really confused with this. I don't know if I'm Next we have Fox Stadium Club. Oh, this is this is cool. Um, this is a weird card. Brown Beanie School of Gold. If anybody knows where it's at, where it's at, and where it's at, 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 Next, 
This is the worst card in my collection. Franchise, not bad. It's really a good piece. It's completely dirty trash. We have one deck in the portrait suit. If it drops, it looks like a skull. You can see it. Um, next we have Cody Mooney. It's my favorite. I'm very excited that he's got in my hand. This is a cool card. Rainbow Holographic Seed This card is probably my favorite. Yeah. 
Probably the strangest thing in the world. 